It's actually even better with the bread. Wow. Oh, guys, I love this. Love it. I didn't know that Kuwait had lamb. This is so good, my friend. Mmm. Good afternoon everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Bin here in Asagari, Grain, Kuwait. I'm here with my friend Yosef from Local Tours Kuwait. And today what we're doing is we're gonna try some traditional Kuwaiti cuisine. I cannot wait, I'm super excited. I've never tried it before. Then after this we're gonna try some shisha, have some coffee, and explore more of Kuwait. Yalla! Yalla! Let's go, let's go. So this is the restaurant, right? Right here? Yes. Awesome. Looks really good. Wow. Beautiful. This is Arabic coffee? Mmm, it's good. It's not like black coffee at all. Mmm, it's almost like a little milky, right? No milk? What is it? It's coffee? It's coffee bean? Yeah. Hey, salam alaikum. Hey, I'm a this coffee is very different from Yemen. It looks a little clear, like yellowish. Good though. And the way you say no more is you go like this, right? Yeah, like no more. No more. What, like little dough balls? Little sweet sugar? Yamat. Yamat. All right, guys, my Kuwaiti feast has arrived. My boy's not eating, so he literally got all this for me. Um, there's so many things. There's three main dishes. There's bread, there's some chili, some pickles, we got onions. We have this sweet, like, balls, like sweet dough balls. We have, like, buttermilk, basically. And then we have over here, some some greens and so the greens here you serve like this mm. Delicious. so fresh mm. I'm gonna start off with this one it's called Jadish right yes Jadish so serve myself some Jadish wow this is like a, like a almost like a lentil mash or an eggplant mash mm. What is that? Nice or what? It's really good, but it's, it's something, it's meat. It's almost like minced lamb, right? Oh, it's so good, it's creamy. Mmm, it's phenomenal, very thick. So this is basically a lentil mutton, which is lamb mash, it's very thick, so good. Oh my God. Mm. I'm a huge fan of lamb. And check this out. Look at this bread. Huge bread. Huge. Rip off a piece. A little piece right here. You don't get enough. Just gonna put some on here. So good. Mm. It's actually even better with the bread. Wow. Oh, guys, I love this. Love it. I didn't know that Kuwait had lamb. This is so good, my friend. Mm. Dude, that's the best. That is the best. Wow. What this? And this is more mutton, so more lamb. Yeah, it's like a pepper. You have fat, lots of fat. It's a very creamy sauce, this one. Wow. This is awesome. Can you say to mix the, mix the peppers with this one? Right there. I'm actually gonna get some of this stuff, which is like super hot greens. Ooh, and chilies, right? You try it alone first. Yeah. It looks like the pure fat of the, of the mutton. Now I'm gonna get some of these peppers. Bone. Mm, not so spicy. The green one's not bad. Maybe I get some of the red one. Mm hmm. Oh, it's gonna be good. Spicy. Dude, this is so creamy. Mmm. Chili gives it a nice kick. Not so bad. Oh, yeah. It's hot. It's hot. <laughs> But it's, it's almost like a, a fatty gravy, like a curry. Mm. 
Lots of, lots of delicious fat. Wow, this is awesome, dude. This is like heaven. I love it. This is something I would never eat in India. Like, they don't have it like this. Yeah? Wow. Wow. It's like, you get the meat of the mutton, but like extra fat. Dude, I don't know. That, that's so good. I'm gonna have to get some more bites. Oh, and they also have some carrots here. Let's try some of that. Mm. Wow, I didn't know Kuwaiti food was like this. You don't like it? I love it. Love it. My favorite animal is the lamb. For me. Eat it all day long. All day. Get some more of this chilies. I'm gonna actually mix the chilies. Get some of those. Get some of these. So it's fat. Mix it up. And go to town. Look at that. Extra good. Mm -hmm. Love the spice. And here we have what I think is gonna be the best one. This is mutton ribs, so lamb ribs. But I think the best thing to do is also get some of this with some of the bread. So we get some more bread, right? Break some off. Get some of that. I think it's like layers of dough mixed with like a creamy sauce. It's more like a gravy. Uh, it's very brownish. But the next up, we gotta go into here. Okay, look at all that fat. I love this. This is like my favorite thing ever. I'm a big, big lamb eater. It actually says on the wall over there, use your hands. Unfortunately, I can't get the camera, but. Oh wow. Let's grab some of this. Look at the bones, right? Mmm. Let me just slide off the bone. Mm hmm. That. Easy to spray it apart. That's number one, man. Look at this. Oh, it's delicious. Lamb, ribs, gravy, potatoes, and carrots. We have to go for the meat. Oh, wow. So good, bro. Right there with your hands. Scrub bunch. So they're all very different, right? So you have the lentils with the minced lamb. Then over here you have the lamb with the ribs. Over there you have the lamb with fat and like more like a more of a fatty, lazy sauce. It's pretty good. It was too good. I need one more bite of this one. The lentils with like minced lamb. Always in your hands, guys. Do the traditional way. So much bread, dude. Mm. I was gonna tell you the buttermilk is not really buttermilk. It's actually milk with mint. It's really good, and if you get really hot, like if you eat too much of the spice, you drink some of this. Mmm, cools it all down. It's almost like yogurt, actually. Like it's thick. Iranian bread. It's Iranian bread? Yeah. Oh. oh yeah, right there? Yeah. In tandoor? tandoor? Yeah. So as you can see, that's how he makes the bread. Very like Indian, Iranian style. I mean, they basically just, you know, use a dough, slap it around, throw it into the tandoor, and in like five minutes it's ready. He's making like a thousand dough balls, and he's gonna keep doing it nonstop because everybody here gets like three plus breads at a time. What I love about this place also is that it's free unlimited Arabic coffee. I'm gonna have some more. Thank you. Ooh, it's hot. It's hot. Oh, it's so good. It's almost like a like a light version of chai. Yo, yalla. Shisha. 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 So that's one thing they do here. They do a lot of shisha. Can't wait. Puka shisha. So this area is made up of small buildings with lots of restaurants and retail on the bottom, right? Yeah. And, then, and he says they get a lot of 
like a lot of restaurants here, like a hundred restaurants, shisha places, basically shisha bars, because that's what they do there. There's no yeah. alcohol. Dry steak, which is dry steak, so they do a lot of shisha. Wow, it's like non-stop. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. The Indian, I'm sure. Yeah, sure, Indian. So everything. Let's go. Shisha time, guys. Kuwaiti style. I know, it's been a while, but I know. <laughs> you know too many things about so shisha. Oh man, come on, when you travel, you gotta try everything. Welcome to the Vikings, guy. <laughs> well, the Vikings didn't smoke shisha, dude. <laughs> Awesome. So how's it work? Just sit down here? Oh, this is cool. What is this, dude? This is amazing. It's like an open air place with like separated rooms and then the couches on the floor. Shisha? Shisha, what do you want, Shisha? What kind? Of... Whatever you want. I don't know. 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 You want to eat the Turkish coffee? No, 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 no more coffee. coffee huh? no, no. Okay. Turkish coffee is out there. What's that? Oh, That's where you get to go. It's good. Tasty. Which one is this? What you got? It's very nice. Okay, so the way it works is that when you come in, you post up in one of these spots, right? Then you ask for shisha, they're gonna ask you what flavor you want. They're gonna give you one tip, like tip for each person that's here, right? So you got two tips, started it, my turn. As you try to do it, you know? There it is. <laughs> that was hard. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste. Namaskar. <laughs> Namaskar. All right, so we're in the Avenues Mall, one of the biggest malls in the world. And it's funny, I ran into a fan there. He's like, I watched you, but I didn't notice because you're hot. <laughs> From Goa, Goa, India. Wow, and it's funny because the second we walked out of that cafe, you could feel the hit just hit you. Boom! It's the humidity, man. Humidity is all over the place here. Whoa, look at that food. Oh, I love it. It, it literally is just all little restaurants. The whole bottom. People live in this area? No, or no. Just, this is just commercial? Yeah. Just commercial. Just commercial, yeah. No one living here. Okay, David, so that one is army base here. That's army base? All yeah. That? Yeah, because I was asking him, like, why is that so empty over here? He's like, oh, it's an army base. Kuwait Army. Kuwaiti Army right here. Huge. So I do a lot of training exercises here and stuff. Yeah. They're everything. This mall is humongous. It is huge. She just showed me the end of it. I couldn't believe how big it is. They have a souk, like a traditional souk, which I really want to see. They have lots of shops. They have an area called Prestige, which is like where Prada, Gucci, all these like big name brands are. And they have like 20,000 parking spots down here. It is huge. No, it's huge. I mean, I can tell. It's it's like giant. We're on like the third floor beneath, like the uh, third level under, and it's huge. Non-stop cars, forever cars. Damn, did I find a parking spot here? Should be easy, and it's not. Yeah, that's no, easy. Huh? Here we are parking. Here. Oh, over there, over there. Okay, okay. Hey, he's saying you need like two days to see this whole thing. I'm good. I don't really love malls, but he's saying it's something you have to see. One of the biggest malls in the world. It's never ending, everything you can ever imagine here. So I'm guessing food, shops, traditional clothing. For kids, kids, any, yeah, much planet, everything. Yeah. everything. Two cinemas, walks, tennis give, everything. Wow. Yeah. So the Prestige is really like the most prestigious area of a mall I've ever been to. Look at this, super high ceilings. You have these lights, like, look at that, man. What is that? That's crazy. Over here we have Costa Gabbana, Louis Vuitton, Dior, Prada, Chanel, and it keeps going. It goes forever, right? Just like forever. Yeah. Every direction. That way, that way, that way. Here we have a huge fountain. Man, this is massive. I mean, this is like this money. Yeah. Right? Just money. If you're here, you got money. 
<laughs> let's go buy some stuff. <laughs> yeah, let's go buy. So yeah, so this is the actual avenue, right? Yeah. The actual thing. And he's saying at the top is like the light comes shining through during the day. Right now, it just feels like I'm in a European city, really. Yeah. You know? It's because it's because hot. Yeah, yeah, no, it's amazing. It's amazing. And that's why there's so many malls here in Kuwait because it's so hot outside. People come in, they stroll, they're in a whole other city, and it's cold. Yeah. It's cold. Yeah. And here we have like the Lexus, Lexus showroom right here. That's the new GX5, right? Wow. This is sick. This is amazing. Good. What an incredible spot. So, what can we do here? What are we going to do? We're going to show you the avenues. <laughs> so, the main idea is, you know, like, you know, Alhamdulillah, Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, like, Okay. Gonna so do, praying, but, like praying. Yeah, but it's great. You like this, yeah. Like this. We just walked around the avenue for like 15 minutes. We saw so many different shops, cafes, restaurants. I mean, it's really like endless. He said we saw like three percent of it. I mean, it's so much. Lots of different avenues. Really high ceilings. Really wide avenues. I mean, there's so many people there, and you don't run into anybody. And it basically feels like they copied like European cities and made it indoors. So there's a lot of air conditioning. This is where people come. You know, they walk around. You know, I'm not really into malls. That's not my favorite thing. You know, for me, I won't go to a mall unless it's something like this, like one of the biggest in the world, so I can see it and show it to you guys. But yeah, now we're gonna go to my apartment. I'm gonna check into my Airbnb and show it to you. So where's my apartment, dude? In Nebnezer al -Gard. Where's that? That's a great city. Great city? Yeah. That's it. Yeah, so I got this place on Airbnb. And yeah, I mean, I chose Kuwait City because it's the most central. I didn't want to be too far. As you saw today, everything's very, very spacious here. I mean, it's not just one city. It's like multiple cities. I mean, it's Kuwait City and lots of big suburbs all around. My boy's telling me that Kuwait City actually had a wall. So it was a walled city, but then when they discovered oil, all the Kuwaitis moved out of the city and that's it. Yeah. That's and, it. and they got rid of the wall, right? Yeah. Is there anything left? No, nothing. They got rid of it completely. Yeah, but you don't have this some museum like this. Some know, museum, you know, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. Well, here we go. Wow, beautiful building here. Yeah. What is that? Four points. Four points? Four wow. points, yeah. The hotel right here, all lit up. Benegar. 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 Sorry, it's, it's a little harder for me to speak Arabic. I'm not that good at it, but this is the area. It looks nice. It looks like a really, you know, Cozy area, a few different buildings here. There's some restaurants and cafes on the bottom levels. Look at that dunk and burger. So burger spot here, dental center. This is cool, man. Yeah. Cool neighborhood. Yeah. I'm sure it's a little pricey, you know, the neighborhood. Okay, here we are, going to building 87. Took us a while to find it. Always does, but we're here. Weighs a lot? No, no. Floor park. So this is like an apartment building, right? Yeah. Nice. 58. 58, perfect. Flat 58. It's big? Small? Huh? Small? It's small. And this is my cozy one bedroom Airbnb apartment. It cost me 50 US dollars per night. Has everything I need. Queen size bed. Got a couch here. TV. Cute bathroom. Decent, that's all I really need, right? Oh, big kitchen. Oh, the kitchen's awesome. The kitchen's the best part, look at this. Got a washer dryer here. Over here, I have another closet. Yep, another closet, big closet space. So that's closet. We had such a delicious meal today, Kuwaiti food. Wow, blew me away. That restaurant, what was the name of the restaurant, dude? The lunch? Yeah. Fritzuela. Fritzuela. Yeah, Fritzuela. Fritzuela. And that's in where? That's why green. That's why green. Yeah, that's why green. That's why green. Yeah, so I mean, the food was phenomenal, man. The yeah. food was so good. I had three lamb dishes, had some delicious little sweet uh, dough balls. Gemat. Gemat. Yeah. Bread, also some herbs, and then I saw them making the bread in the tandoor. And we had this guy come over and pour us non-stop coffee, Arabian coffee from Yemen. Really, really good, very different. Then after that, we went to the Viking Cafe and we had some shisha, really cool experience. That's basically what the Kuwaitis do here, especially in summer when it's really, really hot. They go to those cafes, smoke some shisha, chill. And then yeah, we went also to the biggest mall here, the huge mall, the Avenue. And guys, if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Kuwait. Peace.